everyone, and welcome to a vlog for the Dragon uh, Riders, Defenders of Berg, DreamWorks Dragons special. <laughs> Defenders of Berg? Defend no, Defenders, Riders of Berg, whatever it is. They keep changing it. So. Yeah, they keep... This is for the special that, that was the extra that came along with uh, the How to Train Your Dragon Blue uh, 2 Blu-ray and uh, digital download from iTunes, Dawn of the Dragon Racers. And this serves as kind as not only is this serves as the bridge between season two and season three, which is which is out right now, though. And it's only available on Netflix. So if you don't have Netflix, I kind of suggest that you uh, start that free trial membership and uh, get yourself started. So I recommend waiting until it's all out so you can just plow through it. Yeah, true. But how will they know though? True, but hey, free's free. <laughs> All right, so this int so this introduces uh, the con. This introduces how uh, dragon racing that we saw in the second film uh, start out by not only showing the beginning of the very first ever dragon race, but its inception really. Yes, it's more. It more or less start, started with the classical. It's kind of like the the best analogy I can give is uh, Beauty and the Beast sequel with Christmas about what, who did what, who, how did, who was the one who started it, who got who together. Except in this case, who start, who made up the game. I barely, rem I barely remember uh, that uh, midquel mostly because I really don't count any of the dis. Disney direct to video sequels. Yeah. I None know. of them. I know, but it's, it's an analogy. Okay. All right. So we see the we see the new character designs that uh, for season three, which are pretty impressive. They kind of look a lot like season a two, lot, not season two. a lot movie two, movie two, but still retaining sign and come sign uh, <laughs> retaining. <laughs> it's it's freaking late. I'm freaking tired. So. Don't expect a very eloquent speech from me. <laughs> it still retains some of the uniqueness that makes the series and and the movie its own thing. Yes. The <laughs> it, the comedy is still there. The comedy is still there, although in ter in term in terms of the in terms of the twins. I kind of say it's still their humor, still a little more tame. It's just more tame than it was in in season two. Yeah, though I know Peta would have had a freaking <laughs> yeah. fit. Oh, Peta! Freaking yeah. trying to tear sheep's in half. <laughs> the animation got an upgrade, and I didn't. I didn't. I've seen this like a hundred times. Okay, maybe not a hundred. That's exaggerating. Dozens of times. Hey, I could see it a hundred times. <laughs> I've seen it a dozen times, and there was always... And there's something very subtle about it that I didn't quite know until I finally watched it again, is that the the characters, including the dragons, kind of looked a little more fleshed out. They didn't look like those chiropractic dolls wearing skins. Ah. Uh, you know, like the guy who got to or something? Like... No, I'm talking like a very, th you know, you remember those cheap costumes that we used to wear as kids? Oh uh, yeah, like that. Okay, you can see, you can spot the seams. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah, the it seemed a little more fleshed out. Okay, but from the from the dragons and the characters, it's and it was actually kind of up to movie quality, but you know, it still looked a little plasticky. Ah, uh. but oh, I kind of liked it. I just liked how it all got started. Yeah. There's supposed, there's supposed to be... <coughs> this original was supposed to be about... You know, ship racing. Yes. And and Hiccup's word, words... Yes, boat racing. Slow moving <laughs> boats. Yes, how exciting it is to just... Put, to just spend all day watching ships sail slowly across the harbor. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right, so ev everyone but the chief and Fishlegs is just excited about the regatta. 
don't know why Fish is excited about it. Oh, because he likes boring things. He's excited about when he finds out a new dragon, which is understandable, but he takes joy in such trivial things. Mm. Like, remember how he... F like, remember how he treated the botany book in Dragonflower? Oh, dear lord. He treated it like it was the Holy Bible. Oh, like it wasn't... Like it was... Like it was a Dan Brown novel, a best-selling author. It's a real page-turner! I gotta know how it ends! <laughs> okay. Right. And, uh, you know... And this episode actually made a callback to the very end of... Of the last episode of Season 2... And that is how Silence Fen is now no longer Silence Fen. What, what broke that? I wonder. I have no idea, but we, but we kind of hear what it sounds like, and the sheep don't like that. I, uh, I actually know who the voice actor is who does that. It's kind of hard not to disguise it. It's uh, the voice actor's name is Tom Kenny, and he's actually most recognizable for voicing SpongeBob. Yeah. And uh, the Ice King from Adventure Time. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. I know he also did some other works. Well, he was Car uh, Carl, you know, from Johnny Bravo, if anyone who's watching this is old enough to remember that show. Uh, okay, yeah. And probably other projects, but it's mostly those three that I remember his work on. And the whole thing... Now... His entire sh flock of sheep escaped, and so now it's up to it's up to the writers to gather them all back and put them back in their pen. And, and of you course, know, they make it a competition. Well, everyone except Hiccup makes it a competition, which is not a nice callback to uh, Worst in Show. Yep, that Worst was in, the one. Worst in Show. Worst in Show, and so they so they all capture three. So, but there's one left, and that is his prized black sheep. The only the, black sheep. Mm, the only black sheep to exist on Burke, and so that becomes the tiebreaker. And so this is, and so uh, it's not how it ends up getting it because uh, Gobber interrupts hit, interrupts Hiccup, and Asher is injured. No, 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 no getting ahead, getting ahead. A, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it tells Hiccup that uh, he's going to be leaving t because he found. <laughs> He found wood that he's going to build build their ship out of, so he makes Sto uh, Hiccup acting chief. And Hiccup tries to, you know, keep things, you know, we gotta focus on the regatta. He tries. He, uh, he tries, yes. But the next, but the next morning, even Astrid is going along with with the dragon racing. And it doesn't help the crowd is going. Mm -hmm. Nuts of over it. No, drag and race! Drag and race! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. No, I would vote for dragon race too. Yeah, it would Frickin be. Let's see. Uh, so, let's see. Dragons zipping across the sky, or, or ships sailing slowly across the harbor. Yeah, I, yeah. I want some speed. Yeah. Especially with that night fury. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it turns out Tafna was the one who kind of came up with most of the rules of the game, even going so far as saying that uh, if if two uh, rider, if uh, two racers catch a sheep, that they can tear it in half. Boy, Peter's <laughs> not gonna be happy about that. No, 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 they're not. <sighs> no. So, so they separate into teams, and finally we get Hiccup and Astrid team together. Yep, but. Uh, and it's snot out in the snot nope. out in the twins. <laughs> snot nuts. Snot nuts. Yes. Snot nuts. <laughs> this yeah. this series is surprisingly. I'm surprised how many non kid things are in this in this kid series. I know. I mean, well, they didn't. Was there even a name for a team hiccup? Hiccup Hick Astrid. Hick no, there wasn't. There wasn't a team name for Hick that. Hiccup. No. Uh, Fishlegs was going to, you know, since there's six writers, Fishlegs would have been a part of the team, but, you know, since he likes boring things, like a boat. Yeah. I'm he's on the boat! He's, he's more interested in building this, in building his ship for the regatta. So, first, so there's two races, so kind of getting that little Harry Potter treatment, you know, post, you know, post Goblet of Fire, I guess. Yeah, or? it's supposed to be the book two and three with the Quidditch matches. 
Yeah, but we're talking about movie wise. Yeah. I know in I know in the books there was like two Quidditch matches in every book. So yeah, and let's see. And so the first one is that first one uh, ends with kind of ends with uh, Astrid getting hurt, actually having her arm have either a sprain. I'd like to say sprain because they yeah because her arm is in a sling. I would say sprain too. Yeah. And Hiccup again tries to tries to say, "Okay, we had a dragon race. Now let's get back to the regatta." Everyone's just no. You can hear the crickets mm -hmm. working their way with this. Mm -hmm. And Snodloud looks like he's saying Hiccup looks like it's saying that Hiccup is right. But then, of course, he goes back to his competitive side, saying that he couldn't beat our team. Yep. <laughs> no, you got to be competitive. Mm-hmm. And of course, not not even that. He's like, you you won't be able to compete. You have no team members. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. God, he sounded like a generic sports villain. <laughs> and so he, yeah. So that leaves only fish legs, and and we see his boat with, and the sail has just. The, oh my God, the sail! You, what, would you expect anything less from fish legs? From fish legs with a crest like that. Really, if I'm not going to say what it looks like, just look, go, look, Google, watch it, watch it, watch it, and see what I mean. But on the other hand, I, I can never believe, like, well, dragons seasick, dragons getting seasick. That's well, a new one. Well, fire, well, fire. Let's see, ones that fly, I guess, aren't used to the water. Does that mean? Does that mean that that that's, title class dragons would kind of get air sick? That's what I'm wondering. With the, with the exception of of uh, thunder drums. That's what I'm wondering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so it yeah, uh, meat lug pukes up lava on the boat, and you know what's gonna happen. Yeah. So so fish legs is is hiccups teammate. Yep. And. And of course, you know, the twins, you can never trust trust the twins. Oh, hold, hold on, we forgot another important part. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The race is just about to start, and then Stoic returns. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember the remember uh, near the end of the, of the first episode of the very first season, when it looks like uh, Stoic was about to punish the writers for disobeying him? His orders about locking the dragons up. Yeah. And then it turned out to be a fake out. Yeah. And it was really, he was going to, going to give them their own dragon academy. Mm-hmm. Well, the same thing happens here. Oh, yeah. He looked, Hiccup was, looked like he was just gonna... Uh. Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, Stoic, for some strange reason, not really explained... Not really explained. Goes along with the dragon racing idea, yes. even adding a few, adding his own two cents to how it should be done. You need face paint. Mm-hmm. Gives it a gives it a warrior's look to it. Ah uh, yes, and of course, ah, uh, <coughs> I have to say, Tough Nut's idea of face paint is creepy. <laughs> God, he wants to look like the Grim fucking Reaper. Yes, he does. Seriously, the first time you see him with the face paint, he has like the skull like reaper. It's like black and green and <laughs> So yeah, the So the third race finally sets off and again, yes, the both teams are tied and that leaves the black sheep as a tiebreaker. Oh okay, again. Mm -hmm. Is it always gonna be like that? That's what I'm wondering. It's like it always seems to come down to that, that black sheep. Uh-huh. I'm guessing there's never once they didn't. It's not just a tie. It's not just a tiebreaker. It's also, I guess, like the jump starter. Like it's, it's, like remember in the movie, it's like worth ten point. It's worth ten points. Yeah. And it's kind of helpful. Say like if you're leaving, if you're falling behind by six sheep. Like if one person has nine and the other has three. Mm, true. So, so uh, Hiccup and Fishlegs look for the black sheep in the well, and it looks like that uh, Team Snotnuts. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Hick, Fish Legs gave gave their team a name. It's Team Hick Legs. Uh, gotta, gotta, you gotta admire some of the creativity that these people come up with. That's some Hick Legs. <laughs> that just doesn't sound right. I know. Doesn't sound any better. You got some snot nuts on you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, might as well call it the Feast of Snot. <laughs> yeah, that's how I was thinking. I was like, oh dear Jesus, that does not sound right. Oh dear. But, <coughs> as he mentioned, it looked like Team Snot Nuts have won because they have the black sheep. Mm. Only, it turns out, there's another black sheep. And Stoke looks at Sven. There's only one black sheep. <laughs> oh, there's only one black sheep steak. <laughs> and of course, take take a guess who has a real black sheep. Mm -hmm. Take a real hard guess. It's, it's probably really hard, right? No. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really. I don't think they'll really get it. No. Yeah. Can you take the guess? Can you make? Can you make it? It's gonna, It's tricky. Very tricky. Very tricky. Very tricky. It's. An, it was Hick Legs that had the real sheep. Yes. I didn't see that coming. No! Wow! No. What a twist! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so what did he do to confuse people? Well, they uh, instant spray paint. They don't, I don't think they they, instant, they didn't have spray yeah, paint. They just had the instant paint. Brush, the brush kind of thing. It's supposed to be quick drying paint. Really. Yeah, quick drying paint. So they dipped the sheep into black paint. Mm-hmm. Little sheeps really have it tough. I know. But they just walk it off, really. <laughs> what are those things made out of Christ? I know. Yeah, we saw how a sheep had to get flung into the air like 74 times just to test the sheep launcher Yeah, at the it, beginning of the episode. My, oh, my favorite part, it goes through the wall and looks like a head mount. <laughs> <laughs> the guy goes... <laughs> I know, they take a lot of abuse, but they just walk it off. They're like Wiley e. Coyote. Yeah. But it's, I feel bad for him, unlike Wiley. I know. You can't feel bad for Wiley after all the stuff he does. Why? Well, not because that was it's just the fact that it's easy to laugh at him for some reason. I can't. It's hard to... It's, I can laugh at the sheep, but at the same time, it's hard to... <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel pity for him. <laughs> You can't feel pity for Wiley because he brings upon himself half the time. Yeah, true, true. All right, so the episode kind of ends since so this this episode was a way to introduce uh, how the characters look in the third season, as well as kind of bridge the gap with the second season. So it's told through a flashback, and so it ends with you know we're back in well. Future, present, I don't know what it, what it is now. Back to the present. Okay, it's back to... Okay, so it's the present. Uh, saying, and it's not allowed... It, it's not allowed before, when the episode... He's really started, he's like praising... He's praising that he's he came up with the game. And now he's all down. He's down because he didn't really invent any of it. It was tough not to take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and even though... Even the other pe even the other writers are saying that's kind of <laughs> disturbing. <laughs> but we made up the rules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it kind of ends. But it kind of ends on it on a happy note. They're all flying. They're all flying off from the academy, just getting ready to start start the race. Mm -hmm. You know, psyching themselves up, and it just ends like that. And really, it was. Interesting to see the, the transitioning, honestly, because you know you see the differences between movie two and mo to movie one, mm -hmm. like pre-rendered characters. Yeah, and you can really see it changes somewhat. I mean, you can't. I still can't see it's not a little mustache no. that he had in movie two, or the guy. I can't. It's still hard seeing fish like what's that? I know. Well, this well. Race to the Edge, as well as this one, was supposed to take like a year and a half before the second movie. Okay, that would explain a lot. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, in movie two they were 20, so here they're like 18. Just barely. Mm -hmm. So, 
Yeah, I lo I'm I I like this little special. I um really I I have nothing but praise for it. <laughs> I I really can't add anything to it that hasn't been said. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's a wrap then. It is. Yeah, that is the end for the vlog of the special Dawn of the Dragon Racers. Next week will be Race to the Edge. Yes! Oh boy. Waited a long time for this. Yes. Alright, so until then, we will see you next time.